West Michigan Republican Representative Peter Meyer, like every other Republican, voted no on the COVID stimulus bill, and he voted no on the Equality Act, which recently passed the House as well. Today, we talked about both issues, the first of which, he says, at nearly $2 trillion is simply too large. Uh, you know, this was essentially a way of achieving some you know, policy wins in the first 100 days so that the Biden administration could kind of brag about them. I mean, that's why the $15 minimum wage was included. Republicans have also attacked alleged pork in the bill, like millions for a transit system in Speaker Pelosi's home city of San Francisco. But the New York Times points out there's money for public transit in both blue and red states, devastated by lower ridership, which need help to survive. Do you deny that's not the case, that public transit systems need help because of the pandemic? Oh, they've certainly been impacted by the pandemic. I think the what I take issue with, and this has been repeated by some of the top members of the Biden administration, is that we must pass this right away, right? This is, there is urgency. We can't reopen schools until we get this package out. So if we're triaging issues in terms of what is the greatest urgency, I was involved with a bipartisan effort uh, six weeks ago to peel off the 160 billion as part of this package that went to vaccines, that went to testing, that went to PPE, saying, let's, let's get that money out there, right? So I would much rather see us looking at these constituent parts independent of one another rather than bundling it all together and saying we need to get this out now or else. Meyer is now pushing an alternative COVID relief bill called the Direct Dollars Over Government Excess Bill. It's a trillion dollars cheaper and would provide $2,400 per American, but only individuals making under 50,000 or couples making under 100,000. That way it's, it's targeted at the folks who are closest to the poverty line who are, are who may who likely have you know the least amount in savings. Meyer also recently voted against the Equality Act for LGBTQ people. He says there are not enough exceptions for people of faith, which may force them to compromise their beliefs. What then do you say to LGBTQ constituents in the Michigan Third who just had their representative vote no against uh, equal protections? I don't think this is just about equal protections. Right? I mean, this is there's very few people, and I certainly don't support any means of arbitrary discrimination. But as with any issue in this country, and the First Amendment, you know, Supreme Court caseload is full of, of issues where we have to strike a fine balance. And you can watch my entire uncut interview with Congressman Meyer right now on both our YouTube page and website.